I've been watching this project come along for a while. Uh, you're obviously making some progress. What's what's the status on Aeropup? So Aeropup, we're, we're selling kits now and delivering kits. The very first kit that I delivered to an overseas customer is now flying. Little little embarrassing. He, my customer got his kit flying before I got my demo aircraft flying, but that's okay. The good news is the airplane flies, flies well, and the, my first customer likes it. We've delivered two kits since then. We're delivering two more kits this week and next week. So business is booming. I'm certainly blessed with all the support and the attention that we're getting. My demo aircraft, it is practically ready to fly. We've done taxi testing with it and whatnot. Runs great, runs as expected. So with this 130 horsepower motor on it, swinging our three bladed adjustable pitch prop, we expect some big things in terms of performance characteristics. It's going to be a climber, isn't it? It's going to. That's the idea. So what's the status right now on kit deliveries? If you want one, how long will it take? What kind of production are you looking at? And where did pricing wind up? So pricing, we're still selling our kits at $18,000, plus we have several options depending on how, how Gucci you want to make your kit, if you will. The longest you'll have to wait for a full kit delivery is six months. I still have my fuselage cages welded up by my guy in Australia, mm -hmm. and I ship them over about 15 at a time. So it works out about six months process to put those together. But we ship wing kits to get you started. We can ship a wing kit anytime uh, to anywhere. We have plenty of those in stock. We have our production processes locked down, solid, and proven. So we can deliver the kits immediately, followed not more than six months later, you can get the fuselage cage and finish up your project. Now the overall reception you've got here, where are you seeing people come from who've been considering something else but start taking a look at this? When we got into the Aeropup business, I was looking for a an airplane that would come in at the lower end of the cost spectrum for the sole purpose of getting more people involved in aviation. I remember as, as a younger person, I didn't have a lot of money, but I wanted my own airplanes and I couldn't afford it because they were too expensive. So, so I vowed that when I retired from the Air Force, which I did three years ago, I was going to start a company that would try to the greatest extent possible to make a good product available for to more people. So I think we've done that with the Aeropup and that's that's working. We're getting a lot of younger folks in here looking at the airplane. This airplane is appealing to a lot of folks for its ruggedness. So it's designed to take an incredible amount of abuse. Also, it's designed where you just drop this thing in anywhere. You don't have to have a you know that nice asphalt or concrete runway to take off, land on the side of a riverbed somewhere. So it's built to be very rugged. It, it appeals to folks that are looking for an airplane they can abuse and keep on flying. Where can people get more information on Aeropup? So they can go to fieldandarrow.com. When do I get to fly it? I suspect within four months. I understand there's about a four-month lag to get the FAA to sign off on this thing. That's what I'm told. I can't confirm. So I would say here very soon, you and I are going to go for a, an awesome ride in an aeropub. pub.